Yeah, we're back again. Question four on the Test Out Hybrid Server Pro Core Certification Practice Exam. So what we're going to be doing here is on the Corp server, we're going to be experimenting with some virtual hard disks and that you plan to run several instances of Windows Server as a virtual machines because these virtual machines will use a similar configuration you are considering using a differencing disk to conserve disk space so we're going to create some virtual hard disk then we're going to create the parent virtual machine and then we're going to associate that with the parent disk and then we're going to configure the virtual machine to use a dvd uh, ISO and all right, let's get going. Okay, first things first. We are on, we need to get to the Hyper V, so we're on the Corp server. So we're going to go to tools. Hyper-V Manager, maximize that guy, go here. Now we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is create a new virtual hard disk using these parameters here. So we're gonna go to new and say hard disk. We're gonna say next, and it wants it to be a VHDX. And as you can see there, the specs. So we're gonna use a fixed size. So next we're gonna be fixed size. Well, how much of the fixed size? But we'll tell it here just in a second. So what are we going to call it? We're going to say it's going to be named parent. And it's going to be stored there in that location. That is correct. And then we're going to click next. And we're going to tell it right here. 50 gigabytes. Next. And finish. All right. So if we go here, go to our D drive just to look. Hyper-V, Hyper-V. We're going to go to our virtual hard disks, and there it is. All right, so we're going to create the parent virtual machine. So now we're going to create the machine, and we're going to say new virtual machine, and click next. We're going to call it server parent. Previous, previous, previous. We're going to say beep. There we go. We're going to store it here. I'm just going to check that box. So we have the path correct. And we're going to generation one, generation one, 2048. And we're not going to use dynamic memory. And we're not going to connect it to a network. And we're going to use, okay. And we're going to select that. Then we're going to point to an existing virtual hard disk, which we've already created. And we're going to hit browse. We're going to click on parent disk, hit open, click next, and click finish. All right, well, that's awesome. So let's point to, so we created the virtual machine. We've given it the, we've given it a hard disk that we've created. And in later labs, what we'll do is we'll do some differencing disks where we can actually uh, use the same disk. So, but here, what we have to install the operating system onto the hard disk. So we want us just to configure the virtual machine and link it to the D ISOs folder. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to settings. Then I am going to go to my DVD controller, and then I'm going to point to that image, which is going to be on the D drive. And it's going to be ISOs. And this was one to select the 2264. Um, bit bam, bam bam there we go click ok all right so that is it for that lab so we're not going to perform any final configuration steps we're just going to get it prepped to start installing the operating system which is kind of sad i wish this lab kind of went through the whole process but uh it's just a quick way to create your virtual hard disk uh and create a virtual machine and uh get it prepped for installation of the operating system. So that's it for this lab. Another cool one. See you in the next one.